Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with my first update on my low buy and I am actually pretty proud of myself and you will you will know why. So I decided last year that I would do a no buy, no buy, a low buy 2019 and I started the 1st of January and I will leave my sh video up here where I talk about my rules for my low buy and in that video I said that I'm going to update you or I asked if you want updates and some of you wanted updates so here I am in the, in the middle of April it is now and I'm going to talk about what has happened, my thoughts about it and if I want to change anything. So I set seven rules for myself and I am not really sure how I thought about the rules and I looked at my <laughs> video and I, it is a little bit blurry. I said that I'm not going to buy any new skincare this year except for refills. And then I also said that I had three items per month. And I have no idea if I meant that skincare was included in these three items. I have counted some of the skincare I've bought this year in my monthly items, but some I have not. And I think I will decide in this video what my three items can be for one month. And I are excluding skincare so skincare things is not included in these free items per month and why i choose to do that is because i need my skincare if i don't use skincare my face will dry and fall apart okay maybe not fall apart but i have dry skin and i need to take care of my skin because else my skin is going to hurt and yes I have tried to be without skincare a couple of days and it's not a pleasant thing so I need skincare in my life so I'm not going to include it in my free items I think I have decided I don't know if that is like cheating or anything but this is my low buy year and I had problems with not problems but I bought too much makeup and also too much skincare but I have my skincare under control and I need need skincare so when I run out of my day cream I need a new day cream because my skin will not be okay with some moisture because it's dry so I think I will exclude skincare for exclude skin skincare out of these three items per month. I don't know exactly what I meant when I wrote my ro rules. Oh my lord. Why did I think it was a good idea to make this video when I can't talk? So the little change is these three items count as makeup products. I think. I don't know what you think about that. Do you think it's reasonable? Because I have bought some skincare this year because my skincare has run out. I needed a new cleanser because I can't get my makeup off with only water and soap, hand soap is not good for your face. Please let me know what you think and this was mainly for me to stop my, to slow down my makeup buys. So yeah, I think I will exclude it and now I have talked like 4 minutes about skincare. Uh, I'm going to show you what kind of makeup products that I have bought this year. I have bought four things. Yes, four things in four months. Uh, the skincare I bought, I didn't know if I was going to take it in with this video. I decided not to, but I can tell you. I bought a new cleanser. I soon need to buy a new one because I'm running out of my cleanser. I bought a new eye makeup remover and a toner in one because my eye makeup remover ran out and my toner ran out. I also bought a milky mist and that was after I was at the, I was at Skin Analyze and the th skin therapist said that my skin was very dry so I needed more moisture. So I took in a mist, a milky mist from Pixie 
that is a hydration mist so it's one more step with hydration so I have bought that as well and then I have bought a jade roller <laughs> from Kix I think I talked about this in my favorite of March or did I? I don't know a jade roller just for like being bougie I didn't need it, I like it, I didn't have anything else like that. So maybe that one I won't come. So yeah, that's the skincare care I bought. I also bought some hair products, but hair products was not a part of my low buy because I like never buy hair products. I buy new shampoo when I need a new shampoo and a new conditioner when I need a new conditioner and a new hair mask moisturizing mask what is it even called when i need a new one so that was never a problem for me so i bought some new hair products as well so if we're going to the makeup i have bought four things as i said and one of the things two of the things was excluded from this as well yeah you hear i can i can buy how much i want i can just exclude things because i think it's good to do that but one of my rules were that I was allowed to buy fixating things for my eyebrows with not including them in my free items per month. And I bought this shaping wax. I wore shaping wax from Lumena in the beginning of the year because the only one I had was empty. So I bought this one. This was like one of the first things I bought. This is soon empty, I think. It's very hard to tell, um, so I will soon buy a new one and I think I will buy this again. The other thing that was excluded from these three items was things from Linda Holberg and I bought this H2 Glow Mist. Really like it, haven't used it that much because I want to save it a little. So I bought this one as well and uh, yes, and then I bought I bought two eyeshadow palettes this year, or three eyeshadow palettes, but I have two here. And one is the Tribe palette by Juvia's. I love this palette, as you may know. I have done a first impression and also three looks one palette. It looks like this. This will definitely be one of my favorite palettes of 2019. Love it, love it, love it. The other palette is the Divinity palette from Strobe. I can leave my first impression up here. It looks like this, like this. My first impression is good and I want to play with this so much more. And then I have also pre-ordered the Whale Song palette from Menagerie Cosmetics and also a liquid lipstick, a teal one. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. Um, so that's two more things I bought. So yeah, I'm still on track with this low buy year and I think I'm doing good. I think I'm doing really good, or maybe just good. I don't feel the urge to shop in the same pace anymore. Maybe it will strike me like in two weeks or something and I will break my low buy, I don't know. But I've tried to really think about what I really want. Before my low buy, I was like, when I was looking at YouTube, I was one of these person, like, if I saw a first impression or review of a palette, I was like, oh, I need that, and then I logged in and I bought it. Now I don't do that anymore. I write down things I want to buy and see if I want to buy them or not. Right now, there's some things I really, really, really want to buy, but I am being cool about it, not shop it directly when I want it, uh, so I can think about it a little bit and do I really really need it, do I really really want it, and if I still do, which was the case with these two, I buy it, and that's a huge difference before uh, compared to what I usually do. I used to do. So yeah, I think that was all for my update. I don't know how often I will do these updates. Maybe now in... I try to do it in March, but it's April now. Maybe I do one in June and then September and then December to end this whole thing or if something happens. But the things 
I want to change about my low buy is the rules. I think these three items per month, I think I only want them to be about makeup. And I think I'm not going to have exclu exclude brands. So this one will come as an item and if I want to buy something more from Linda Holberg, it has to be counted in my free items per month, the same as Blush Tribe. So I can put down my own rules and also the changes I have done. If you want to read about that. And I also have a question for, I know that some of you also doing a low by year. How is it going for you? Do you think it's hard? Do you think you want to give up? Do you, are you doing great? I really want to know because it is good to speak with other persons and see what you are thinking. And yeah, I, for right now, I think I can do this the whole year. I really, really hope it has gone four months or three and a half. I'm still feeling great. So I hope I will be able to do it the whole year. And the thing I am most proud of myself is that I haven't bought skincare that I don't need. It's like what the hell has happened to me? I only buy the things I need. That has like never been that way in two years. So that feels really really good and yeah. That was all for this babbling video. I hope you liked it and do you want me to do something more with my low buy? Do more videos or anything? I don't know what you want to see. So this is my first update for my low buy year. I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!